Today we're going to look at the difference between rational and irrational numbers. You're going to either use the given Freyer model or in your notes you're going to draw a picture of the Freyer models. We're going to complete two Freyer models. The first one will be titled rational numbers in the center circle and the second one is irrational numbers. Let's begin by filling in the center circle and let's do the definition and talk about rational numbers. So rational, did you notice by any chance the term ratio in the word rational? That kind of helps me remember what a rational number is. The definition of a rational number is any number that can be written as a simple fraction or a ratio. So if we can take a number and write it as a fraction, then it's rational. Well, let's look at the characteristics. A rational number can be a whole number because a whole number, like the number two, can be expressed as two over one and still be the number two. So we can write a whole number as a fraction. A rational number is a fraction. So anytime you see a fraction, it's going to be rational. Or it could be a decimal, uh, but the decimal would have to repeat or terminate. So it could be a repeating decimal or a terminating decimal like our last Freer model, or terminates or stops. Okay, so let's look at some examples and we'll see if this makes sense. Okay. So an example would be the number 2, because 2 is the same as 2 over 1. We can write that as a ratio. Uh, 0 is a rational number. The fraction 1 fourth, which is the decimal 0 0.25, that's rational. If we had 1 third, which is 0.3 repeating, that's a rational number. Even if we had a negative number, like negative seven, that's still rational, because we can write negative seven over one. And soon we'll be getting into square roots, so if we had the square root of nine, that equals three, which is a rational number. So there are some examples for you. Let's look at what a rational number is not, some non-examples. So our classic math number is pi. It's not pi. Remember, pi was that crazy decimal, 3.14159 dot dot dot. So that's not a rational number. Um, talking about square roots, if we did the square root of 5 on the calculator, we would get some um, really crazy number, 2.2360679 dot dot dot. This decimal does not terminate and it does not repeat. Therefore, the square root of 5 is not a rational number. And if we had... Um, just a decimal that rambled on like this, like negative 4.893758 and so on. So anything that really looks like it's, it's uh, I guess, crazy looking or this long decimal that doesn't terminate or doesn't repeat is not a rational number. Okay, so be sure your Freyer model is filled in for rational. And then we will move down to our second Freyer model for irrational. Okay, so irrational, see the ratio there? It's, the ear means it's not a ratio. So let's fill in our definition first. So an irrational number is a number that cannot be written as a fraction or ratio. So the characteristics of an irrational number 
It's when we have a decimal that goes on forever without repeating. So a decimal that goes on forever without repeating. So the decimal does not terminate and it does not repeat. Let's look at some examples. The most famous example is pi. Do you know some of the numbers of pi? 3.1415926540. How far can you go? I can't go any farther than that. I'd have to cheat and look at a, a document. Okay, but pi is irrational. Look at that thing. It's crazy looking. It does not terminate. It does not repeat. Um, square roots. We're going to be talking about them next. The square root of 2 is irrational because when I put that into the calculator, I get 1.4142135. Six, two, and so on. So the square root of 2 is irrational. Some more irrational numbers if I did negative uh, 4, 8, 7, 5, 3, 2, 1, dot, dot, dot. Irrational. An irrational number goes on forever without repeating. So non-examples, let's take a look at our what an irrational number is not. It's not zero. It's not one half, which is 0 0.5. It's not uh, 8 over 9, because if I do 8 divided by 9, I get 0.8888, and that repeats. Um, it's not 1 third, which is 0 0.3 repeating. Okay, all of these that I just did in purple, those are rational numbers. Okay, so take a look at your two Freyer models. They should be all completed. And basically, if we're talking irrational, we're talking crazy. Like irrational behavior, irrational numbers. They never terminate, they never repeat. And then pretty much everything else, kind of our normal looking numbers or decimals that repeat or terminate are rational.